All right, late tonight, a federal judge ordered Hunter Biden to appear in person on October 3rd for his arraignment on gun charges, not by video, as his lawyers requested. The investigation into Joe Biden's son was a major part of today's congressional hearing with AG Merrick Garland. Have you had personal contact with anyone at FBI headquarters about the Hunter Biden investigation? Uh, I, don't I, don't, I don't recollect the answer to that question, but the FBI works for the Justice Department. It's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't, recollect, you don't recollect whether you've talked with anybody at FBI headquarters about an investigation of the president's son? I, I don't believe that I did. Under oath today, your testimony is, you have not had any discussions with Mr. Weiss about this matter? Under oath, my testimony today is that I promised that the, uh, the Senate I would not um, intrude in his investigation. Joining me now, Congressman Tom Massey of the Judiciary Committee. Congressman, you know, he doesn't remember conversations about the president's son. Uh, what, what went down there? You know, usually he comes and he says, well, it's longstanding FBI policy not to comment on an ongoing investigation. Well, their job is investigating, so they're basically saying they won't comment on anything. But today, he had, he'd just forgotten everything. He didn't know, he wasn't there, couldn't remember. Well, he's someone of impeccable memory. I mean, he's yeah. one of the, he was one of the smartest jurists on the D.C. Circuit, uh, so smart that the Democrats wanted to put him on the Supreme Court. Um, he's not, you know, Bob Mueller kind of having, you know, struggles, perhaps, uh, intellectually. This guy is kind of Johnny on the spot, so I'm, I'm not following that. I, I, I didn't either. We didn't buy it. I didn't believe it. Uh, but one of the themes that came out of this hearing today was that there's two tiers of, of justice. There's a dual system here. And the, and the reason Hunter Biden tried to get his arraignment by video is he thought he could. He's gotten special treatment the whole time by this DOJ. Do you think that the gun charge issue is kind of a fig leaf, though, to kind of get people off the scent of what really is going on here, which is influence peddling, perhaps U.S. foreign policy changed or altered or uh, some, some type of effect on it because of the money trail going to Hunter Biden? Oh, absolutely. This is the one charge that doesn't go back to Joe Biden. The, you know, the big guy. The big guy wasn't involved in the gun charge, so we'll, we'll charge him with that. Whereas, and, and then also, some of these tax uh, charges, or some, some of the charges, they slow walked them so that uh, the statute of limitations ran out for the period of time where the big guy was involved. So that if you do go into the other charges that, you know, he supposedly pled to, they weren't during this period of Burisma and, and Joe Biden as vice president. So that, that's another thing they did. They only want to charge him for the things where, that aren't connected to the big guy. They wall it off. Now, Garland is outraged, Congressman, that anyone would challenge his prosecutors. What is dangerous is when anyone singles out a career prosecutor or a career FBI agent and we know, as a matter of fact, that that kind of singling out has led to threats. This is a, a, a concern across the board. So Ugh. you can't question uh, someone with that much power in, in, in a situation where there's at least the appearance of, I mean, at the very least, the appearance of a conflict of interest. Yeah, part of, that's part of the job. Look, when he talked about threats and tried to get some sympathy, we all looked at each other on the dais and we we're like, wait, we get threats every day as members of Congress. Like, if you're in the public eye, but you are accountable, and um, we, they should be questioned. And that's what we were doing there or trying to do there. Congressman, on the, um, wait, what's that on your pocket there? Oh, this? Yeah, what uh, is that? Can we get is... a close up of that? Can we m move into that? That's blinding me. What is that? <laughs> oh, so well, it's, oh, it's a. Well, you know, I have an engineering degree. And I realize that some of my colleagues have pacemakers, but what they really need is an anxiety maker. So I display the debt to them every second of the day. Oh my day. God, 33 trillion, 65 <laughs> billion, 792 million, and then I can't read the rest it's of the It's so too fast, fast, but it's, it's meant to prov provide anxiety to my colleagues. I'm sort of the skunk at the garden party there in Congress, but it's needed. They need to know what's Two happening. Two trillion more in debt this year, right? Yep. And keep, keep going with Ukraine. No, no end in sight. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.